In this video we are going to show, we are going to demonstrate that pressure at a point in a liquid is the same in all directions. This is just a property of pressure in liquids. Now to demonstrate this we have a flask right here. This flask has got holes around it. We have a piston here. So when we put, and here is our liquid. This liquid could be water, it could be oil. So what we do, we push this piston inside. When we push the piston, pressure is going to be impinged onto the walls of this flask. And so as a result of pushing, pushing this piston into inside, the pressure exerted into this liquid is going to force the liquid at these holes to flush out. So in other words, when the piston is pushed, it puts the pressure on the liquid and that will cause the water to shoot out in all... It will cause the water to shoot out of these holes in all directions. Now, the water shoots out through these holes in all directions with the same pressure. And that shows that pressure in liquids acts equally in all directions. To show that pressure is independent of the cross-sectional area or the shape of the container in which it is poured, we have a flask right here. But it is constructed in such a way that it is having protrusions that are having different cross-sectional areas. If you look at this shape, it's not the same as that shape and that and that and that. Now this flask was initially empty, but then when we pour water into this flask, the water levels are going to rise in such a way that they will be the same in this round shaped uh, protrusion, in this protrusion uh, that is like a cylinder, in this cylindrical protrusion, and also in this slanting cylinder protrusion. The water levels will be the same. It means that the more you pour water, for example, from here, these water levels will rise, but they will rise at the same level throughout the entire flask. Liquid upon pouring is found to be on the same level, showing the pressure, and this shows that pressure at, at the same ground level is the same, and it is independent of the cross-sectional area.